recognition and counting, reading and writing numbers to 1000 in numerals and words. When looking at three digit numbers, we need to look at place value. A three digit number has hundreds, tens and units. Hundreds, tens and ones or units in our columns. The first number tells us how many hundreds. This is what a hundred square looks like. We might have one, which is one hundred, two, two hundred, three, three hundred, four, four hundred, five, five hundred, six, six hundred, seven, seven hundred, eight, eight hundred, or nine, nine hundred. The second number tells us how many tens there are. This is a ten. We might have one, which is ten, two, twenty, three, thirty, four, forty, five, fifty, six, sixty, seven, seventy, eight, eighty, nine, ninety. The third number tells us how many ones or units we have. They look like this. We'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine. When looking at three digit numbers, we need to make sure we look at the place value. We can write these same numbers in words. In our columns, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. In the tens column, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. In the ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When we look at writing numbers, we need to look at the place value. Let's write this number in words. 2, 3, 6. If we have our columns, the 2 means we have 2 in the hundreds column. The 3 is 3 in the tens and 6 in the ones or units. We can see then that we have 2 hundreds. We have 3 tens and we know 3 tens is the same as 30. And we have 6 ones. Now we can write that all as a number. We have 236. So we'd write 236 is 236. When we're looking at reading numbers, we need to look at the place value. Let's write this as a number, 360. If we have our columns, we can see it says 300. So we have three in the hundreds column and we have 60. 60 is six tens. So we have three in the hundreds column, 60 or six tens in the tens column, and we have zero in the ones column. If we were to write this, we have three in the first column, the hundreds, six in the tens column, the second column, and zero in the ones or units. So we'd write 360 as 360. Write this as a number, 251. If we had our columns, we can see it's 2 in the hundreds column, 50 or 5 in the tens column, and 1 in the ones column. We have 2 in the hundreds column, 5 in the tens column, and one in the ones column. So we write 251 as two, five, one. What is this number 425 in words? If we had our columns, we write the number we have four in the hundreds column, two in the tens column, and five in the ones column. So we have four hundreds, we have two tens, which we know is the same as 20, and we have five ones. If we write that all together, we have 425. So we can see this is the correct answer, 425. Remember, 
When looking at three digit numbers, we need to look at place value. The first number tells us how many hundreds there are. The second number tells us how many tens there are. And the third number tells us how many ones or units there are. Start in the hundreds column with a three digit number and learn the way to write and read the numbers from 10 to 90.